Jason Bateman, how are you? I'm real good, thank you. Welcome to Shiberia. Have you heard this term yet? No. Did... Oh, you haven't? Is that because um, people are, are sort of shy here? <laughs> <laughs> no, because it's so cold. I don't understand. No, Shiberia. I got it. I know, I was going to say, you have to get it, right? But I got to hear your laugh, you cute thing. Oh, stop it. Give me another one. You're going to embarrass me. Stop it. So, let's talk about your movie. Okay. Bad Words? Yeah. I like this movie because I actually was in quite a few spelling bees growing up. Were you? I was. How'd you fare? Okay. I don't remember the words I lost on. However, I remember one of the first words I had. This was in sixth grade. was crate. Crate? Yeah. C-R-A-T-E? Yes. And I got that one right and I moved on. I don't remember anything after that. Well, let's hope you got that one right. <laughs> yeah. um, and I did, yes. I lost uh, to a word that is arguably more difficult, uh -huh. um, but still should have been spelled correctly. Uh, the word answer. I forgot the W. This was for real when you were younger? You were in spelling bees? Yeah. Okay. Well, just the one. The one, um, yeah. Yeah, lost early. Answer. Well, that's a tough one. That could Bless be. your heart. I know it's not. <laughs> How old are you, though? There's a laugh again. Huh? Don't you make me fall you're in love gonna, with you. You're gonna, you're gonna, I'm blushing. You're gonna, how old were you when you were in the spelling bee? I was in fifth grade, maybe? Fifth grade? Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, so this movie, for those who don't know, who haven't seen it, you are in a spelling bee. You're quite a bit older than the other kids who are in the spelling bee. Right. And you have this whole thing, I won't give away the whole reason why Please you don't. participate. Okay. So, you did get to have a lot of fun with the kids, though, in the movie. It seemed like my character had a lot of fun with them. Your yeah, character they did. didn't have a yeah. whole lot of fun with me. I, I play uh, not a not a great guy. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, he, his first mistake is that he crashes their spelling bee. Right. But I want to make sure that people know that it's not a spelling bee movie because we don't need to see another one of those. It's just simply the venue where he basically is is exacting his revenge. This is a guy who got his feelings hurt just heard some news about something, uh, so he just decides that the way that he's gonna get back at this person is, is to do what he's doing. Uh, so, uh, you know, I, it was a repellent to me when I first read it. I was like, a spelling bee movie? And a guy and a kid, and, but it's, 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 it's more than that. Really? So you kind of looked at it at first, you're like, ew, I don't know about this one? Yeah, I just, I, I just, I'm not a guy that wants to see a, Spelling Bee movie. Yeah. And so I, I knew if I was being asked to direct it, I'd have to kind of be an advocate for it, and, and that was a not a good thing. That was my next thing, because, yeah, you direct and act in it and produce as well in mm. this one. The whole the whole thing, huh? The, the whole, whole thing. thing. Yeah. Um, just got paid once, though. Oh, that's it. Only one chair, one dressing room. Okay. One lunch. Mm. Uh, this is a, uh, a very specifically toned movie. There, yeah. It's, a, it's an, an environment that's kind of uh, unique. And so to not only be behind the camera, but also in front of it kind of increased my odds of hitting that target, uh, yeah. for better or worse. So Was it difficult? Like, did you get behind, like, ooh, I like when I do that? Or how was it directing and then jumping into the scene acting? Is that what you had to do? It wasn't that complicated because I'm so used to doing the acting part uh -huh. that, that just kind of runs by itself. Okay. As you can see, if you watch a lot of my performances, it's just pretty much just... You know, and so it leaves me. There's not a lot of talent spent on that. Uh -huh. I could spend the talent in other places. So, okay, why don't we do something else fun then? So you saw my hat earlier. Guys, so this that was is... a lighting change. We were looking for so... the lighting change and the deep music. That was, okay, so <laughs> this is called Shelly Shakes It Up. So <laughs> Again, literally lighting shaking it up. <laughs> <laughs> and just draw a question from the hat. Just a random question. See, I shake. Do sh I have two oh, here? You do have two. You can do two. I just shake it up. It's like just a little something if different. If you would start a business, what would it be and why? Yeah. Please sing me a verse from your favorite song or show me your favorite dance move. <laughs> you um, can't. If you would start a business, uh, what would it be and why? I would start a business. I am a big frozen yogurt fan, and the frozen yogurt place that I get all my frozen yogurt from is closed oh, no. as of last week. So I'd start a brand new frozen yogurt shack near my house. Nailed it. Good one. I like that. It's boring, but. No, I like that frozen yogurt is very popular here in Chicago, too. Is it? Believe it or not. Yeah. Not today, it isn't. Not today. No, not today. You don't want to sing a song or do a dance? Mm -mm. I take it. Do I get the hat? Is that your personal hat? It is my personal it's hat. It's kind of a chick hat, isn't it? I do. I like the uh, I mean. The Blackhawks thing. Wait, you got a sponsor thing on the back there, too? Is that a giveaway at the stadium? Uh, 
Maybe no. Oh, yeah, that's what he was. <laughs> we love the Blackhawks on our show. I, so. I like them too. Not as yeah. much as the Kings, but yeah, they're a good team. Have you been to Chicago before? A couple of times. Yeah. Yeah, I like it a lot. Do you like it? I do. Do you get to go out, eat, do anything when you're here? Went to a great restaurant last night. Yeah. Uh, a goat and the girl, girl and the goat. Girl and the goat. Girl and the goat. Woohoo, is that good? That is good stuff, yeah, right? Yeah, loved it. You can really uh, eat your face off there. You can, you, can eat, you can eat a pig face there. You can, you can eat a pig face there. They yes, serve you a can. pig face, yeah. Yes, you can. Yeah, so what else, anything else that you want to tell us about this movie or that you think people should know why they should go check it out? I uh, would like for them to go see it, if that's okay. Yeah. Uh, but I do want them to be prepared for something that is not just kind of a regular popcorn studio comedy. This is something that's got a, got a lot of specificity to it. Um, it, it might be uncomfortable at times, but uh, I promise to bring you across a, a redemptive finish line at the end. You're great in it, by the way. Thank you. Awesome did you job. Did you get that? You got her saying that, right? He's great. really, and I'm not just saying that you are. You're fantastic in it. Oh, that's ridiculous. And you get all the. Oh, you're the best. And Arrested Development, you get people all the time coming up to you. I, I, I yes, yeah. I have no update for you. No one's told me Nothing? who. Nothing. Okay. Jason, I don't really want to leave, but he's wrapping me up and he's getting mad at me. I mean, there's another lighting change opportunity. <laughs> Great to talk to you. So nice, nice to, to, to meet you. I'm not that good at uh, thinking things through. We are doing all we can. And that's why this plan was so shitty.